technology has changed a lot in the last couple of thousand years, and yet it seems as though our social, political, and economic systems haven't changed that much. Yes, you're, you're on the right track. You see, technology has increased the carrying capacity of the Earth. See, as it was known to the people, as for instance, the carrying in, in uh, 1859, the very year that uh, Darwin published The Origin of Species, it happens that a well, a well was drilled in Pennsylvania that started off the whole business of oil power. You see, and so all of a sudden, not sudden, it had to take place by stages, more and more of our energy came from this accumulated energy from past millions of years, accumulated underground. We learned how to pump it up and then to burn it. And so we're now living on the riches of the past. And that's fine until, until we, the bank account reaches zero, as it will. But people say that technology will solve our problems. Look at all the wonderful things we have from it. The question is, is there anything that makes us think that technology will pr uh, solve all of our wishes? And I don't think there is. You see, it solves our problems, which means that one resource after another, we learn how to use it and then we're at the limit for that resource. For example, uh, in the case of wood for fuel, we've just about reached the limit of that, uh, a little bit more. In fact, if we had to depend on wood alone for our heating and for running our machines and so on, uh, we would be down to zero in a, two or three years. We don't have enough wood. See, so we exhaust one resource after another, and there's no law that says there have, has to always be one more resource that you haven't thought of that you can use. The weight of the earth is about 6,000 million billion tons. That's a lot. Most of it is unusable. All sorts of odd uh, elements that we really don't know much about use. There's no, and there's no energy in them in particular. And so uh, the point is a very small amount of the earth that is usable, we are in the process of exhausting. We have been now particularly for the last hundred years, the rate at which we exhaust these is tremendous. What about professional scientists such as economists who say that we have a limitless planet, that we can grow in a limitless way? First of all, economists are not scientists. <laughs> and the, let me tell you, I was in, in Washington once at a conferences held on this very issue with about 10 uh, biologists and 10 economists, 10 ecologists and 10 economists. And we went all through the first day of argumentation before suddenly we discovered a basic difference that when some, an economist spoke of the remote future, he meant beyond five years. Long term was five years, whereas when biologists spoke of long term, they were thinking, oh, a million years.